hi guys in this video i'm going to explain how do i create anime character in blender i will explain how do i model this character as well as the tone shading process i learned to volume model my characters like this by watching some videos from Deco's youtube channel i'll put the link in description if you are interested in creating your characters like this now here you can watch the whole process of how I create this character from scratch without sculpting and I will be back to explain the tone shading process. I will explain how to use the ILM map to control the shadow and the base colors for your characters.
now our model is complete so we're going to start with the tune shading process switch to the object section and select the body mesh now press new to add a new material delete this principal bsdf and add a diffuse bsdf now add a shader to rgb now add a color mix node connect it to the b slot now add a color ramp and set it to constant. Now we need two image textures and connect these image textures to the color mix node. We need one more color mix node connect the nodes now we need one more image texture this is going to be the ILM map and connect it to the separate color node and then connect it to the color ramp and set it to constant now connect this color ramp with the color mix node Okay, so this one is for the base color. So let's give it a name body base color. And resolution should be 2048. That is good enough for this model. And for the shadow layer, let's name it body shadow color. Press OK. This one is going to be an ILM map. I already have one, so I just open it from my PC. Now I'll show you how to create an island map. First create a new file in Krita, add a new layer and paint this layer with the gray color. This gray color should not be too dark and it should not be too, too bright. It should be just perfectly gray. And then add another layer and paint this layer with the completely saturated green. And set this layer to multiply and save this whole file as a TGA format and that is exactly the file that I used here as ILM map so this is why we have three image textures here in this setup one is the ILM map and the other two images are for the shadow color and the base color if you don't want to create this ILM map you can get this uh, get this blend file for free on my patreon I'll make it available there So we have two image textures now, one for the base color and the other for the shadow colors. So what I'm going to do is uh, I select the object and then I go to the texture painting tab and then I select the base layer from the, from the, the image slots and once I have the base layer selected, I select the base color from the reference image and I use the paint bucket tool to fill that color in the viewport. Now once I'm done with the base color, then I select the, the shadow layer from the texture painting tab and, and then I select the shadow color and drop it in the viewport with the help of this paint bucket tool. I keep doing this for every other object in the scene. I, I paint the base color and then I paint the shadow color. So when I have to paint any specific part of this model, like uh, if when I have to paint the, the eye socket with white color, what I do is I select these faces of the eye socket and I go to texture painting tab. I once again select the base layer and I, I paint these faces with, the, with white color. Once I'm done with the base color, I select the shadow layer and I, and I select the shadow color from the from the reference image and drop this color in the viewport with the help of the paint bucket tool.
Now for the grease pencil part, what I do is first I add a grease pencil blank and then I go to draw mode and I start drawing right over the surface of our model. If the grease pencil lines are not perfectly drawn over the surface, you can always adjust the offset value and, and try to try to align the lines perfectly on, on the surface of your model.